What's going on, everybody? What up, what up, what up? I'm in Brawling here in Clash Her off on my main account, the Golem account. I want to share some replays with you guys that got me to the new season highs of 66.22. Ranked 9,275 in the world. Just check out locally. Try to see where I'm at in the country. Five seven five. Okay. Fifteen days to go, and I'm one game away from my season highs. So definitely we're gonna cross that this season. Oh. Are here. I tend to share them in the clan chat in case um, they go missing. This is the deck that I faced. I have the Freeze Graveyard Inferno Dragon. I forgot to turn off the game sound. Not to scroll all the way up. Aggie. Check this out, though. Whew. No. Whew. I joined the clan for a little bit. I left. Whatever. Let's check it out. So we got the knight here from the opponent in the right lane. I go with the number chat. And if Inferno Dragon pops out. When I see Inferno Dragon, I usually go with the manage. So here I had to Barbarian Barrel to distract the Inferno Dragon. And then I Mega Minion that. Baby Dragon. Freeze came off from the opponent too. But we did okay. We defended that decently. See the opponent spent the um he was it right there in the right lane that's a defensive card makes for air unit as well so thinking that's out there we go we go golo we switch up the flow we go in the opposite lane crying him out here from the opponent and the spectators cool a knight in the back in the left lane i go with the night witch right behind the golem here you see a really good play from the opponent inferno dragon nato put the opponent put you see that freeze it actually froze the golem so the golem couldn't get out of the reach of the inferno dragon good play so here i saw ewes was probably I thought the Ewas was probably the only um, thing that the opponent could do at that time. And it only targets two units at a time. So that's why I sent in the Lumberjack. You see what the Lumberjack was able to get done. Bringing my tower down to 15 or 5. Here tonight, you know, I go with the Mega Minion safe route. It's going to definitely make the opponent respond with a mixer to that one. Here we go with the golem. We're gonna keep that pressure going. You see the graveyard play. If it was a long graveyard play, ooh, here comes the freeze. Now I have to go with the number jack because I thought we could still keep that tower healthy. That worked out. Perfect lightning value. Got the inferno dragon and the E was out. Here comes the bats. Got the inferno dragon out of the way. In the right lane, we can just hold that down. We took care of the left. That's how it's down. But the game's not over yet because the opponent's back to the other graveyard. I have to respond to that with the Barbarian Barrel. Lumberjack right there. Freeze from the opponent. Check that out. 10 seconds left in the game. The grave 
the skeletons from the graveyard were able to take care of the inferno dragon on the golem. You can nato that away from it, keep it away from the range so it can reset from the golem and go to other stuff around it. The golem getting all that damage done to the tower. And then you should get that lightning. I kept going for the three crown. I got the lightning. But the right tower was actually taken care of before we could get the king tower. This one is another graveyard cannon card, bomb tower. Let's check it out. I'm gonna go a little bit faster so we can go where the action started. I'll go double looks here. Okay, a bearing barrel from the opponent. I go with the baby travel. You know, we gotta start off the game here. Cannon cart. You see, this was a horrible play for me. I missed the cannon cart, and cannon cart here was able to get so much damage done to our right tower. Ah, uh, horrible play. Mistakes were made. Baby dragon in the right lane from the opponent. I have to go mega minion in the right, meet it on our side so our tower can do damage to it. bomb tower coming from the opponent the opponent thought i was gonna go with the golem not yet i will but now because by the time the golem gets to the other side the bomb tower will be taken care of in the right lane i can barbarian barrel with that take care of that and our tower will survive so there needs to be another plate and plus it's out of poison range so that works out for us Check this out, guys. I go with the lumber track. I have a uh, NATO. So I'm gonna NATO this closer to the golem. Lumber track, actually, so that lumber track can get rid of all that extra stuff. And you see, the opponent doesn't have elixir to respond to that. So we actually take care of that left tower. That tower has been taken care of. Yes. Fisher, fisherman. Okay. I still go in the left lane, especially because baby dragon is there. Only barbarian barrel. I can respond to that with the barbarian barrel. Cool. I still want that graveyard coming out. I don't want to give my right tower to just a barbarian. I'd rather take a five mixer. Okay. 30 seconds left in the game. Can we defend this side? Here comes the graveyard. I can go lumberjack there, mega minion there. And cycle of barbarian barrel. Still no damage done to that tower. Well, oh, that poison there actually took care of that. Nicely played. Well played. You see. There goes the golem in the back corner. The opponent started with the cannon cart in the right aggressive play. I got the lumberjack to take care of the cannon cart. It's actually away from the king tower, so that works out. Mega minion for the barbarian barrel, so our tower can reset on the skeletons. Okay, we're holding on. 21, 20, 61 left on the tower. 19, 52, 18, 17, 34 left on this king tower. We kept the cannon cart away, but for how long? Here goes the barbarian barrel. Mega minion bridged up. Making sure that King Tower is at 1222. But with the help of the Night Witch Golem on the left at the King Tower, we're going to be able to break through this push. Nate of the Baby Dragon away from the Golem. And we're back in the Lightning Range. Ba -da -da. Really good game. That Golem in the corner left almost cost the game. So now I know not to do that. Go. let's check out this next match right here that i shared 19 minutes ago against this 
deck. We know what this deck can do. The Golem, E Dragon, Baby Dragon. It's a little bit of a tweaked up version. So, um, Really, the back and pushing at the tower with this place. You see the opponent goes in the right lane with the E. E. Golem, Dark Prince, Battle Healer, Baby Dragon. Well, we took care of the left side, but our right tower is down as well. So I have to nado everything away. Bring in the back, Baby Dragon doing splash damage. We bring in another Baby Dragon because we want these um, Golemites dead, whatever they're called. Um, here goes the language. I just dropped something because there were two e-golems, so I didn't want to waste eight to mix it. So I dropped something right away. So I have two baby dragons now. But I'm not worried about the right side because we'll hold that guy. The opponent has to respond to the left side here with the golem language player. Baby dragon, I have lightning right now as well. I can hit the e dragon. But I wanted the fairness, but good timing with the battle here. It was able to withstand the lightning hit. And I made everything away at this time. I knew it was good game. Um, and go for the three card. Well played though. Taking care of our white tower there. This is the one that got me to the new season. Highest. 66, 22. All right, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you for watching. Guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. And make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. Appreciate your support. We're almost at 700, 700 strong guys, uh, 689 now, 11 more to go, y'all already know, peace out guys, follow me take care.